The Russian offensive gained momentum in August, when Ukraine deployed thousands of its most battle-hardened soldiers for a surprise invasion of the Kursk region. As the Financial Times notes, Ukraine hoped that its daring operation would force the Kremlin to transfer resources from Donetsk, but this did not happen. Instead, Russian troops captured several towns and came within 8 kilometers of Pokrovsk and 4 kilometers of Mirnograd. Some commanders and soldiers consider this a cost of the Kursk offensive, the newspaper writes. Kursk was a good idea. It showed that Russia is weaker than many thought, but we are paying for it with part of our own land, said the commander of the Ukrainian Ground Forces Unit. Russia's core strategy has remained unchanged since February 2022 to overwhelm Ukrainian forces with sheer force and resource advantage, Phoenix and four other Ukrainian brigade commanders told the Phoenix. All complained that their units were sometimes outnumbered 8 to 1 and that for every shell fired, the Russians fired 10 or more. But Russian troops have adapted, commanders say, learning from past mistakes and avoiding major offensives with tanks and armored vehicles. Their new tactics have led to recent gains in the Donetsk region, forcing Ukrainian forces to retreat and bringing Moscow closer to its goal of controlling the entire territory. Mikhail Temper, a battery commander with the 21st Battalion of the Separate Presidential Brigade, who has been in the region since April, says Russian tactics changed in the midsummer. They are now using faster, more mobile units and have adopted strategies previously used by the Wagner PMC. Putin destroyed Wagner but took its most effective parts. Temper said, the Russian army, he added, has learned lessons and experience from Wagner and fights the same way it does. A drone operator in Temper's battalion says new Russian tactics of using small infantry units to attack from multiple directions at once have made it difficult for him to target his troops. At the same time, Ukrainians can do little against Russian attack helicopters and planes carrying glide bombs, soldiers say. Russia has also changed tactics, slowing its advance toward Pokrovsk and attempting to outflank Ukrainian positions. It is now also concentrating on the area around Volodar and Kurokovo, another stronghold facing intense Russian advances in the south. Yuri, commander of the 68th Jaeger Brigade, whose troops fought but ultimately failed to defend the town of Novogradovka, said the latest fighting was very intense. He described Russian chemical weapons attacks on his troops, including one in April in which soldiers emerged from trenches for fresh air but were shot. As Ukrainians' losses mounted, Yuri said Russia's were higher, but even as hundreds of Moscow soldiers died each day, they were quickly replaced by new recruits, Yuri and other commanders said. It's unimaginable. How long can they continue this? He said. The head of the drone reconnaissance unit feared that the answer could be years away and predicted the complete destruction and probable occupation of Pokrovsk within two to three months.